And because those pieces were clamped together, the holes are perfectly matched up, but the edges are a little bit sharp around the holes, so I grabbed my cordless trim router with a quarter inch roundover bit to start breaking the edges on all those holes. Everything was going great until the router decided it was done working. Full battery and everything, but it just kept shutting itself off after every hole or so. I think it's time for a new router. I walked across the street to the home center and the nice fella at the counter just handed me a new one without having to deal with the warranty process, which was pretty cool. So I plowed the rest of the holes. That's what she said. And yeah, I know what you're thinking. Eric, Ryobi tools are total garbage and nobody should buy them. I'm sure people have a lot to say about this, so let me know your thoughts about Ryobi tools down below.